All right, welcome back for our final steps. We're going to get into brick wall limiting. Let's go ahead and let's apply one here. I'm going to put it on the master fader and I'm going to slide down dynamics. We're going to grab maxim. Should be down here under M. And here we go. This is also a uh, native Pro Tools plugin. So we're not going to go too deep into the settings right now. We're just going to do a broad stroke on this. Uh, out ceiling should be about minus 0.5 is a good place to set that. See if we can get to it. There we go. And we're going to use the threshold control essentially as the gas pedal. This is what's going to make this thing go off. The more we pull this down, the louder it's going to get. So we probably don't want to do more than maybe two or three decibels. Now this we have to do a little bit by ear. Let's do a little playback and listen. And let's make sure, let me slide this down just a bit. And we're at the same insert point we started last time. So let's go ahead and roll track and we'll pull the threshold down and we'll watch the volume get louder. You can get shot by John. So that gives you an idea how much more volume you can add. If we push much past two decibels of attenuation here, we're going to end up over distorting the track. The effect that the brick wall limiter has on the audio can be very noticeable to the ear if pushed too far. But two decibels seems to be a safe zone of sorts, so you can uh, find yourself there. Probably listen for distortion in the kick drum and in the snare. Other than that, that should get you loud enough for broadcast for Spotify and YouTube as well as radio or CD. Okay, that wraps up our tutorial on brick wall limiting. Make sure you check in with us again for bounce to disc from our mastering session, and we'll see you next time.